plan is I want to build a chicken hutch or a chicken caravan so I can move them out to other fields and have them dig up the now cut down um, vegetable matter. So the plan is I'm going to build a chicken caravan but I need to build it quickly so it's not going to be very fancy. I'm kind of challenging myself to build it out of parts I already have on hand and uh, doing it uh, fairly quickly so let's get to work. what I did um, but I worked for about two hours um, I'm trying to remember where we left off but basically um, so I have these rafters and then I put these spurs on top I'm gonna to put one more set um, and then down here I attached a foot of chicken wire um, on the bottom I have a half inch screen uh, so their droppings will fall through but I'll put some straw down there up here this is the lay box and I've got a little door here uh, that opens so I can get the eggs once the roof is on, in theory. There we go. So I can reach in and grab, grab the eggs, close that back up. Uh, so that's up high and dry and dark. And then uh, there's roosts down here for them to sit on. And I've got a door here that opens and that'll go down when there's no bike in the way. Um, and the cool thing is uh, it's got two feet back here. And on the front, looks like a wheelbarrow. Let's see, it's like a little bit to turn around in this space, but it's six feet long, so it's not the easiest thing to maneuver in a packed garage, but uh, for the most part, I can just walk it like a wheelbarrow, which is kind of nice. And that was the plan all along. Ideally, I would have two wheels, one on either side, it would make it more stable, so I'm going to have to add some extra legs here. It's a little unstable just on the wheel because it's an old rickety wheel. But for transportation purposes, it'll be great. Um, here's that door to get the eggs from. Very nice. So, uh, now it just needs um, a little more in the rafter department. And it just needs to be skinned with a little bit of a leftover uh, aluminum uh, flashing. And we'll be good to go. Now it's time to mix up some chicken feed. Never mind the noise in the background. That's um, those are peanuts being ground uh, into uh, bits of peanut. So uh, what I've got are uh, black sunflower seeds. I've got ground up corn. I've got whole kernel corn. I've got grit. This is just ground up uh, eggshells so that they get more calcium. And I've got peanuts. And this is going to make a, uh, a feed for my chickens. They eat about a quarter pound a day of bird. Um, but I'm feeding less than that right now because they're eating a lot of greens. So let's uh, start mixing this up.
Who needs a petting zoo? He's feeding the chickens wood chips. They don't seem very excited about them. <laughs> I threw the bad tomatoes in already. So much stuff for them to eat. The chickens are still enjoying their time out here in the back 40, clearing the field for me, fertilizing with lots of nitrogen getting it ready for next year. So what's going on right now is the, the mean girls click, the, the dominant chickens, are cleaning up the feed. The lower chickens are eating the apple scraps from yesterday. Occasionally one of the higher ranking chickens will run over and scare them away from the apples. Because even though they're not eating them, they don't want the lower ones to have them. Here she comes. Hey, uh, you might have noticed that this is a much shorter video than usual, and we're going to start doing something a little different. We're going to uh, cut up our episodes into different segments, and this segment, for example, uh, was about the chickens and moving them out and feeding them. Uh, so uh, we will stitch them all together in one episode if you want to watch it all together like we've been doing, uh, but we're also going to put out these shorter um, topical videos um, as the weeks go on so that we can put them out more often and also so that people who are interested in one particular aspect of what we're doing they can just watch watch those segments so uh, thanks for watching uh, make sure to subscribe um, you can check us out on the web lowtechinstitute.org and you can reach me at scott at lowtechinstitute.org thanks bye bye